Mm. All right, guys. Fundy E is back here again. And as you can clearly see, we're talking about the brand new Samsung uh, Odyssey G9. We saw this monitor at CES 2023. It's a behemoth. But this thing is just so nice. Now, I got to see it. Uh, this is not a review. Think of it as my extended gameplay session with the monitor. And boy, I've got a lot to talk about. So, 49 inch gaming monitor. Aesthetically, this thing is nice. It's got uh, the first thing you notice at the back is that lighting ring, the LED light ring there, which is very customizable on the monitor as well. Uh, it's got a thin profile, very nice. Uh, you can see the uh, height of the monitor is what you expect for something with a 32 by nine aspect ratio. It's a QD OLED monitor. Samsung calls it its OLED monitor, 49 inches. Resolution is 5,120 by 1440. Uh, this thing has a bunch of spe specs into it. So the curve radius is 1800R, which means when you're gaming, you still get a good view of everything in front of you. As you see me sitting in front, playing different games. I got to try out a ton of games on here, but let's let's go through some of the specs you will find on this monitor. First off, you've got two HDMI ports, HDMI 2.1. One is a standard full HDMI 2.1. The other one is a micro HDMI 2.1. Not sure why Samsung, so maybe there's two regular ones. And then there's a DisplayPort 1.4 and there's auto switching uh, which creates cleaner connections for a central USB hub. Now, this isn't just a monitor. This is also powered as a Samsung hub device as well. What I mean by that is that you have this full Samsung hub, which you can go through all the different options. There's the gaming hub, there's a the media hub. So you can use this to watch your Netflix shows if you want to, or you can connect to things like game streaming services. We will get to that in the, sec in the section. Now, this comes with a remote control, a white remote matching the aesthetics of the monitor itself. And it's a very clean remote. Of course, you expect it's from Samsung, what well, they're currently running at this point in time. Now you're wondering, what about gaming? How was the gaming experience here? So I played a bunch of games. I did play uh, Medal of Honor for a little bit. There's a new map on there. I gotta check it out. Ah, oh, man, I died extensively <laughs> on that map. But it looked pretty nice and clean. Um, and you can see the high refresh rate and response time really come to play. 240 hertz in terms of refresh rate, response time, 0.03 milliseconds, which is nice. Now, I went over to play a game that I can play for a long time, which of course is Doom Eternal, and there I did much better. Uh, and Doom Eternal is a very fast game, fast-paced, um, and you can see how it really handles clean on that monitor. And also, the the color gambit showcases, because you've got 99.3% color uh, gambit DCI, uh, DCI-P3, so it showcases well. And also the blacks up to 400 in terms of HDR true blacks. So those darker scenes really pop and they show off well with the monitor and it looks very, very nice. So I like that about it. And then I played, of course, the game that you really want to play on a monitor like this. I wish they actually had of course, Microsoft Flight Simulator, but no, that's not the game I played. I played Forza Horizon 5, and the landscapes look beautiful, driving, just experiencing the whole vista was impressive with the monitor all the way through. Gaming experience on here, uh, if you're playing a 32 by nine in game that takes full advantage of that, you're going to love it. I think you absolutely will. Now, the monitor, as I mentioned, has, of course, the different Samsung Media Hubs. So you also have uh, a hub where you can go into Office, built-in. Uh, you also have um, a hub for gaming, a full gaming hub, where you can connect to Xbox Game Pass and play, Amazon Luna, any of the game streaming services, including uh, NVIDIA GeForce Now. So all you need to do is just connect to your uh, Microsoft controller. You can basically have your PC gaming set up, and of course, your your game streaming set up right there. And then you can go to the next hub to go into your general media, uh, watch content on any of your streaming apps. This is all with the touch of the remote, simple and easy. I definitely like that, and that's a huge plus. Now there are speakers on this, on this uh, monitor, so why don't we take a quick listen to how well the speakers sound. <laughs> Things good. It is really nice. Now, the monitor also has a few other features to mention. 
Um, of course, you've got uh, a split screen with, with, with dual inputs. Now they can do it on two inputs. So basically, uh, physical inputs, if you have something on display port 1.4, say your PC, and say you have um, uh, an Xbox or even just cable or anything else connected to the other uh, HDMI 2.1 port, you have two inputs and audio will come from either one you're using at the time. So I was playing uh, Call of Duty, which also looked really good. The single player on Call of Duty looked fantastic on here. I liked it. I think it's a solid monitor, but I want to know your thoughts. What do you guys think? Would you pay $2,100? So basically $2,199 for this monitor. If you do, go ahead and use our link down below. You're going to get a uh, $250 uh, gift card uh, for buying this monitor as well. So there is some incentives that Samsung is given. And price-wise, it matches a lot of things in that category, especially for an OLED monitor this size. Leave your thoughts down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.